Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Custom Frame Mods. Now today, I'm going to paint an aeroplane. Yes, a remote control aeroplane. It's going to be white with yellow stripes on the bottom and red stripes on the top. Now I'm going to use a clear of a base system. That's going to allow me to put my base coats down first, all the different colours. And then I'm going to put a clear coat on top. That's going to be a two-pack clear coat that's going to seal off the colour and give it the protection. Now I never use the base coat system because it's going to dry a lot quicker than a two-case solid system. And um, we're going to go over that later on in the video. But um, for now, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in the booth. I've got the aeroplane here ready to spray white. Now the colour actually looks pretty good at the moment, but unfortunately when it's in the air, it's really hard to see. So I'm going to paint it white with some yellow stripes on the bottom, red stripes on the top. I'm about to put my base coat down. I've actually I've, I've sanded this, sprayed it with a, a two-page transparent sealer. That's going to help the paint stick a lot better to the fiberglass and any exposed fiberglass bits. Um, then I'm going to spray my base coat, let it dry, and I'll be ready to mask up. Okay, now I'm going to mix up my paint with the thinners or reducer. Now the base coat system is can be called the 2K base coat system, which means that it can that 2K clear can be put on top of this paint and it's not going to have any reaction. But it doesn't actually mean that the paint is 2K. It's just um, basically a 1K acrylic type product. You mix the paint and the reducer or thinners together, stir it up, put it in your gun, and spray it straight on. So. If you did want to paint something at home with like a 1K acrylic top clear, then uh, that can go with this paint as well. So basically it's a base coat and you can choose a different clear coat. I need to mask up my lines for masking and the pilot wants something similar to this so I need to do some yellow lines going down the uh, down the wings and also down the belly of the plane uh, I've let my white base coat dry now it's time to mask it up with some fine line tape So I've mustered up, now it's time for my first coat of uh, my coloured base coat and um, hopefully it'll go square. I'm going to use the Concept HS55. It's a part solid 2K clear and it's 2 to 1, so what I do is just mix up um, two parts of the clear to one part of the hardener and uh, put it in my gun and spray it. So let's do it. Okay, 
Okay, so I've applied my first coat of clear, and I've done it not like really dry. I've done that on purpose because it's going to act like a tack coat. And my second coat, I'm going to do a lot heavier. And that first tack coat is going to hold the heavier coat on and kind of uh, eliminate runs. So uh, that, that's uh, one way to do it. I'm going to go and inspect the, um, the product I'm painting, and it'll give me an idea of where I've gone dry and where I've gone a bit heavier, so I can uh, focus on those areas and uh, try and avoid runs because all the edges, all the, all the parts where you're doubling up your spray, that's where you tend to get runs and that'll ruin your job any day. Well there you go, I sprayed all my base coats, um, within 10 minutes they were dry so I could mask them up and spray the different colours, then eventually I put the clear coat over the whole lot. I used a um, HS clear which stands for high solid and that means I only really needed two coats to get that really good gloss and protection. Uh, being a high solid clear, most of the product is going straight onto the job and protecting it. So um, yeah, if you're spraying a lot of clear coats, choose a high solid clear over MS or a normal clear coat and uh, you'll save a lot of time and money. But um, other than that, the, the job came out really good. Now if you click this video here, I'll explain the difference between a base coat system and a 2K solid system. Um, you do get the same gloss level from each one, but uh, there's just different methods, different ways of spraying. So apart from that, thanks for watching. See you next time.